And one of the final steps in my process here is that I'm determined to utilize some of this shelf fungus as a shelf. This one's just for decoration, but this one is a full-size bowl-style shelf, and I'm going to use this. It's interesting. It's growing like a different mold off of this. It's beautiful stuff. Somebody found this in the woods and then left it sitting there, with, carved all their names in it, but I decided to take it and utilize it for something better. So, let's see how this turns out. The shelves I was going to use, I'm going to, well, I'll show you what I'm going to do. But look at this. Oh, that is so... Oh, wait, let me get in here. I'll show you what I'm doing. I put the shelf up on the wall. Boom! Shelf fungus shelf. And this one that I just cut has the craziest looking patterns. I thought it was wood left over at first, but no. It's spongy, so it's the fungus itself. It's pretty gorgeous stuff. I'm going to mount that like right up here. Something like that. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, well this stuff is probably just too amazing to work with. I cut the shelf fungus, nice flat edge, so I can mount it. And I'm grinding it down like a shelf, and yeah, you just sand it like normal wood, just using a belt sander with some really rough grit, like 60. Just leaving some nice mushroom dust. This is gonna be an awesome shelf. Okay, well, I'm thoroughly satisfied with the results of my fungus experiment. There's one up here, one over here, another one. This one's more for decoration, of course. This one can actually be functional. You could put earrings or something in there. These are pretty damn stable, too. The wall is more shaky than the, uh, you know, actual pieces themselves. They're put in with three, or there's three three-inch screws in there, so there's more than enough. And then over here, we've got that one and that one. And I think I like it. I really do. And then uh, down there, I've got the little funky wine glass table holder. And uh, I'm experimenting with some of these weird louvered things. And uh, top cabinet up here. And uh, we're off.